the last part will be the maximum likelihood max estimations so okay so in our profit or logic model they are all the non-linear the non-linear the estimations so what we are doing is to estimate the non-linear least square estimations so for the non-linear least squares estimations basically so in our multiple regressions or linear regressions we are going to minimize the residuals so again in the non-linear model we are doing the things similarly so we are trying to use the actual value of y minus the non-linear probability model or logic model with with the ingredient inside so this phi with the b0 plus b1x 1i plus b2x2i dot 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 up to the pkxki are the estimated value under the logic or probability model while the actual value minus this value then you try to minimize this so you are tr trying to minimize the residuals so how can you minimize the residuals you can first maximize this value therefore we call this function likelihood functions so what's the mean of likelihood functions so in probability model or logic models so you're given some value of beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 and you calculate the probability but how can you and how can you make sure the actual value of beta you don't know it. so but what you can do is you compute the likelihood functions so likelihood function is the joint probability distributions of data and the most important thing is that their coefficients are unknown so I don't know the actual value of beta 0, beta 1, beta 2 or even I don't know what is what, what, sh, what value of beta should I add okay maybe this is just one beta term or n beta terms I don't know so all are unknown so we set up the likelihood functions then we maximize maximize it by choosing the unknown coefficients and therefore we are going to choose the probability value to maximize this unknown likelihood functions since we maximize this minus term then we can minimize this residual so this is the logic behind so how can we choose the unknown coefficient so we can choose by the probability okay so assume that we have two distribution y1 and y2 and they follow the Bernoulli distributions okay and they are id therefore the joint probability that yi equal to some value of small yi and y2 equal to some value of small y2 is the multiplication of the marginal probability okay so this is equal to p times raised to the power y1 times 1 minus p raised to the power 1 minus y1 times p raised to the power y2 times 1 minus p raised to the power 1 minus y2 okay since you know that in Bernoulli distributions they have probability p the value equal to 1 and 1 minus p equal to 0 so if I want to calculate the probability of y equal to some sort of value so this is in this form so if I group p and y minus p I will get p raised to the power y 1 plus y 2 times 1 minus p raised to the power 2 minus y 1 minus y 2 okay then we will put this probability distribution into a function and we call this likelihood functions so we put it into function it is a function of p 
given the distribution y1 and y2 okay so it will become p raised to the power y i plus y2 here we put the capital letter because we are investigating the whole distributions and 1 minus p times 2 minus y1 minus y2 okay then by calculus how to find the maximize value so you do df dp you choose the probability that maximize the whole likelihood functions and set it equal to zero and what you get is okay applying the product rule this is y1 plus y2 times p hat okay we are estimating the p so we replace p by p hat then raise it about y1 plus y2 minus 1 and times the second term and set it equal to p hat raised to the y1 plus y2 times 1 minus p hat 1 minus y1 minus y2 so this is the differentiate with respect to the second term <coughs> so here you can see that p hat this term can be cancelled with this term while 1 minus p hat can be cancelled with this term so okay i miss the front part okay so what i get is that y1 plus y2 times 1 minus p hat equal to 2 times y1 times minus y2 times p hat so by simplification and collecting the term p hat is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 which is equal to the y bar well this is not surprising because as you know in the Bernoulli distributions for one distributions okay the p will be equal to the y so with two distributions the p should be also equal to the average of the y that's how we get the probability so the logic of the probability and logic model is similar to this you set up the likelihood functions because you actually don't know what is the beta 0 beta 1 and beta 2 but you can set up the probability then you try to maximize the probability distributions then you will find the result so the theoretical frame, framework of the probability and logic model are at the fault as follows okay first you know the probability of yi equal to some value small yi given the x1 i x2 i dot 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 up to x k i is equal to p i raised to the power y i times 1 minus p i raised to the power 1 minus y i therefore the joint probability which is equal to y 1 equal to small y1 y2 equal to some value of small y2 and dot 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 up to yn equal to some small value of yn given x1i up to xki is equal to p1 raised to the power y1 times 1 minus p1 raised to the power 1 minus y1 cross p2 raised to the power y2 times 1 minus p2 raised to the power 1 minus y2 then cross dot 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 up to pn raised to the power yn times 1 minus pn raised to the power 1 minus yn okay so this is the likelihood function you formed <coughs> therefore in probability model you just need to replace the pi or the p1 p2 p3 up to pn equal to the CDF the cumulative density functions you replace all the P with this V then you maximize it choose you, you, you maximize it maximize the probability then you can find out the estimations well we don't have exact formula for the P so what you can do is just using the trial and error, substitute various values to see which mean by the error terms. So actually you estimating this value by human brain is very difficult. 
and in similarly for the logit model okay we'll just replace the probability by the function of beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 i plus up to beta k x k i <coughs> okay again you don't have exact formula you can just use the trial and error methods but theoretically you can find out all the maximized likelihood function in this sense well to keep it a little bit simpler what you can do is okay so this contain lots of multiplicative terms what you can do is take a log here and we call this log likelihood function well after you take a log of this one all the multiplication will become the uh, uh, addition form so let's take a look if this is probit so you take a log of the function the likelihood function of the probit given the beta 0 up to beta k and y1 up to y n given x 1 i up to x k i so this is just equal to sum of i from 1 equal to n times y i log the probability the phi beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 i plus up to beta k x k i of course you still have the 1 minus y i with log 1 minus phi okay so this is the way so then you can maximize simply in a simpler manner <coughs> okay then how about the logic model so if this logic model again given all the beta 0 to k y1 to yn and x up one i up to x k i so this is equal to sum of i from one to n y i log here we don't use the cdf we use the one derived by one plus e raised to the power negative beta zero plus beta one x one i plus dot 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 up to beta k x k i and the remaining part 1 minus y i and log 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to the power negative beta c plus beta 1 x 1 i plus dot 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 plus up to beta k x k i so theoretically we can maximize this likelihood function 